Hey everyone, welcome to Danica's Dream House. I'm so excited to see you this week. Today, if you love dinosaurs and digging stuff, I guess, I become a paleontologist, so this is the exact perfect episode for you. In my unboxing room, which kind of sounds weird, but I know you guys are gonna love it. Before we go to my unboxing room though, I am going to my, hmm, thinking cap, thinking cap, thinking cap, And this week I have an amazing book that is so cute and I know you guys are gonna love it! Take a trip to a magical place Read a book and feel the sun on your face Learn something new and make a friend or two Cause in Danica's dream house all your dreams come true by Beverly Clearly. What have you been reading this week? Leave a comment below and tell me. I would love to hear all about your favorite book. The setting in this book is a creepy old hotel. <laughs> <laughs> the characters in this book are the motorcycle. Yes, the motorcycle. And the mouse, obviously, because it says on the cycle, right? Cycle. On the cycle. <laughs> Bing bong, I said the cycle, not the cover. Uh, I mean, I guess they both start with C, so I guess that makes sense. More of the characters are a little boy and an old grandpa that sits on a rocking chair on the porch of the hotel. This book is about a little cute tiny mouse like my kitties who rides a little cute tiny motorcycle which my kitties would ride, but they don't have arms. When the little mouse rides his cute little motorcycle, he comes into a lot of dangers because he's small and we're big. When he comes into all these dangers, all these people don't see him, so he almost gets stepped on along the way. But don't worry, he makes it out alive, which is the most amazing part of the story. I hope you guys love this book. Comment down below what was your favorite part. I would love to hear all about it. What was that? Oh, you want me to read that part to you again? I thought it was scary for you. Okay, let's do it. The Mouse and the Motorcycle, Chapter One. Wasn't the mouse in the motorcycle book so amazing? Wasn't it so cute and furry, like fuzzy, like you just wanted to hug the mouse? Oh, so cute. I can't believe he likes riding the motorcycles. <laughs> so funny. Now, time for what you all paleontologists have been waiting for. Paleontologist, and you guys love to watch me dig dino eggs and find dinosaurs in them. So awesome! It's like fossils, but real. <laughs> Let's go! Balloon back, open the house. Whoa! Today I have this I dig a dino dinosaur egg with me, and if you don't know what that is, you have this little mallet that comes with it, and you just chip it down to find the dinosaur. Let's do this. Oh wow, this is actually really easy. I think I actually found the dino's head. Let's keep digging and digging. This is like a fossil trying to find the hidden bones in the sand. Whoa, the chip just flew off. Okay, ooh, I think my dino's gonna be orange. This is very dusty, uh, it's getting everywhere. Let's try the other side now. Just dig it, dig your little thingy in there and it'll work. Oh, oh goodness. Okay, this is very fun and it's getting very, very dusty and messy. But that's just what this is. So, let's keep doing it. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, I found its tail. Okay, maybe we're not at the head. 
And progress update, here is my progress. And we're still getting there, but there's some orange there and I think that might be my dino, so. I think I got one of those, um, not T-Rexes, um, those herbivore kind of dinosaurs. Don't really know if they're herbiv herbivores or not. Herbivores are like some sort of animal, well, not animal, dinosaur that doesn't eat meat. It eats some sort of plant, like vegetables or something. This is a very hard spot. I think I'm reaching a hard spot. Oh wait, I think I got one of those with the long necks. That are also herbivores. Ow. Okay. Let's keep digging. There's a bunch of chunks coming off at a time and look at all this. <laughs> and, oh, <laughs> oh no, bing bong. Okay, <gasps> whoa, oh, I almost tipped off its leg. Oops. <laughs> oh. I feel just like a paleontologist. A paleontologist is someone that studies, studies. <laughs> someone that studies eggs and fossils to try and find dinosaur bones so that they can look and see what dinosaurs looked like in the past. Also a type of scientist, which I really wanna be a scientist when I grow up. Do you guys know what, di what made dinosaurs extinct? Well, if you guys didn't know, then it's a meteor. Do you know what a meteor is? Well, it's like a crashing star coming down to Earth and exploding. <gasps> Ginormous explosion. And that's what extincted the dinosaurs. Is extincted a word? Probably not, but that's okay, you know? <laughs> Let's keep digging, and my hands are very paleontologist-y. Ugh. Oh. oh wait, <laughs> I'm in my dream house and I just remembered that I have Danica's dream house magic to help me finish up this job. Danica's dream house magic, do your thing. Whoa, I finally finished this. Well, the help of my Danica's dream house magic did. I love paleontology so much. This actually reminded me how much I love it. I love this little paleontology egg from Dig It Dinos. It was so much fun. I hope that I get to do more of these later. Tell me what you guys found inside your egg. But for now, I gotta clean this up because it's getting a little messy over here. <laughs> hope you guys love